All right, good evening, everybody. It is just past 8.30. It's getting just a little bit on the brisk side out here. So moved a lot of equipment outdoors to make certain that we were able to get a little bit more in the way of structure out here. Got the desk, got everything else going on. David Letterman would be proud, I would think. And as of right now, a very quiet evening across the Mid-South area. But most importantly, it's going to be a very cold one as well. We're looking at some pretty chilly conditions out here for right now, and we'll continue to see some pretty cold conditions into today. Tonight, so much so that the National Weather Service has issued a freeze warning for the Mid-South area. And this could be, again, just a bit of a problem out there for tonight. So if you have any plants outdoors that you want to protect, tonight will be the night for that. So definitely want to make certain that you have, again, everything uh, taken care of on that respect. Because as of right now, we have, again, some pretty quiet conditions for the time being. But we're looking at some fairly chilly conditions for the overnight hours as well. So if you have any plans for getting outdoors tonight and you're going to be out for or out and about this evening, definitely want to make certain you've got a jacket or something to ward off the chill because we've got a decent amount of that going on uh, for this evening. Why are we outside tonight? Taking a look again at Big River Crossing in the backyard and the Mississippi River flowing underneath the bridge trio back there, Harahan, Frisco, and I-55. We're out on the News Channel 3 helipad for tonight because it is a special night. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Let me get our Facebook viewers in on this and make certain that everybody can see exactly what's going on for the evening hours. It is quiet, it is chilly, and also again, the possibility of some frost out there on the pumpkins, very good possibility into tonight, so please keep that in mind, and we'll explain why that's important coming up here in just a little bit. For those of you joining on, on Facebook, thanks for sticking around, and if you have any questions, please drop them into the comments section. We'd love to hear from you guys out there to see what's going on for the evening hours. Here's why we are live tonight from the backyard. Again, a little bit on the chilly side. It is International Observe the Moon Night. So we decided to uh, go out and about from the backyard and show you more about what's happening from my iPad, which is uh, hooked up into and around the area. And I thought we had that. See, do we have that going there? Maybe not. Not sure. Okay, it looks like we have a little bit of a lag delay going on here, but there's the News Channel 3 studios, nice little manicured backyard, and going upwards by just a little bit, uh, you can see again the moon up there quite nicely. Again, it's a waxing first quarter in the south eastern skies pretty much from my vantage point here so do have again a pretty nice view of what goes on across the area for this evening if you've never joined us before for this video weather blog thanks for joining us first of all and if you'd like to see a little bit more about what it looks like out across the mid-south area for forecast purposes blue bar for more information there and again, social media information there, there, and of course uh, on the opening page on all those icons out across the area. So love to have you along for the ride. So follow me on these social media pages and we'll keep you updated on here for the rest of the evening and the rest of the weekend. Nothing on radar to report. Things are very quiet at this time. And as the clouds left the area, there goes our blanket of anything that can hold in the heat from the day. So it was decently mild for a little bit less so than what we were expecting for today. How did we we do on temperatures that's the main question for right now we've got numbers back into around the mid to upper 40s to the mid to upper 30s across a good section of the news channel 3 viewing area so some pretty chilly numbers out there already for the area tonight and without that cloud cover, that blanket to hold in the heat of the day, the temperatures are just going to drop from this point onwards, which is why the National Weather Service has issued, again, a freeze advisory for tonight. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. The freeze advisories that are in effect for right now are in effect for most of the midsection of the country, from the Great Lakes all the way down into Texas, Louisiana, and that includes all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. So if you have plants outdoors, the main reason why this is listed is because of the fact that for anybody in agriculture or anybody who has gardens, uh, you want to take care of those plants out there because this basically will mark the end of the growing season. It's what's called a killing frost. Hopefully that'll be a little bit better news for those of you who suffer from things like ragweed, which is me, and that again will help out there. But if you want to keep those tomatoes going for the next couple of weeks, tonight is the night to get things covered over before you go to bed, before the temperatures drop into anything involving the lower 30s out there, so please keep that in mind for later on tonight. Traveling to Florida in the next couple of days, Philippe has formed in the area between the Gulf and Cuba, and this is a tropical storm at this time. 
winds just over 40 miles per hour and giving Florida a lot of wind and rain and even some tornadoes in the last couple of hours. Now the really good news about this is that this storm is going to be making its way up and across South Florida. Miami is going to be taking pretty much a direct hit from this thing. It's not going to be as bad as a major hurricane, but it is going to possibly alter a few travel plans. I'm guessing there may be the possibility of some cancellations down this direction, so please keep that in mind. Also, if you're going to be heading up to around New England in the next about 48 hours, anywhere from Chesapeake Bay, D.C., Baltimore, all the way up to Boston. The storm system here, again, rotating around all this moisture is going to be throwing in a lot of breezy conditions, a lot of rain, and maybe some pretty good travel slowdowns as what's called a nor'easter storm. So if you want to be traveling anywhere along the coast between Miami and Boston, call ahead and check to see what your destination looks like, if there's cancellations or back backups because that could be a major problem uh, for travelers out there into the, about the next 24 hours or so. Into the next day or two, we've got another cold front heading our direction. It is not going to be that much of a problem immediately, but we do have some changes coming on through as we head into around the area close to around Tuesday and around early on Wednesday. The front should be clearing us, but then more chances of showers and thunderstorms will be heading on through the Mid-South into the course of the next couple of days. Let me get into the forecast here and give you an idea as to what we're going to be looking for. Let me reset. I was just doing a forecast on our main Facebook page for tonight. Low temperatures into tonight. Again, this is going to be the main weather story for the rest of the next couple of days as we see uh, temperatures going back into around the mid to upper 20s to lower 30s tonight. My hand's already getting a little bit on the chilly side sitting out here uh, for the evening hours, so this is going to be a bit of a problem there. High temperatures tomorrow will be back into around the mid to lower 50s, mid to upper 50s around Memphis and Shelby County, and also south of I-40 throughout the rest of the evening uh, into tomorrow. So we're not going to be quite as chilly tomorrow as we were today. High temperatures today didn't even make it out of the 40s in some locations. That includes for Memphis. So a little bit on the brisk side out there for this time of year. Coincidentally, that is about 20 degrees below normal from what we see from this time of the year. It should be in the 70s. It was very chilly today out there. Low temperatures tomorrow night, not quite as chilly. It will be back around freezing, close to around the Jackson area, and also into around northwest Tennessee, Ayersburg, Union City, north and west of the area around Nashville could be a bit of a problem there. High temperatures into Monday back in the mid to upper 60s, so warming up by just a little bit. What does it look like for Halloween? New cold front drops through the area as we go into Tuesday, and high temperatures will be a lot cooler on Tuesday. But the good news is we are not seeing anything in the way of rainfall with this particular storm system, at least just yet. Let me skip ahead to trick-or-treat time on uh, Tuesday, and then that's when we see, again, the possibility of some areas of showers around northeast Arkansas Arkansas, Jonesboro, back through around Springfield, Missouri. That's our new cold front dropping on through and kicking up some moisture behind that thing to where we may see some rainfall on trick-or-treat on Halloween Eve. Again, that could be something to take a look at there with a bit of a problem. Most of the rain will be back to the north and east of us, and it looks like it most of it for everybody out there, before you go rushing out and putting the umbrella with the Darth Vader costumes, uh, it looks like most of the rainfall will be on to the Mid-South and moving into the area after the trick-or-treaters go to bed. So good news as we get into around that period of time for the evening hours and afterwards. Now afterwards, after the kids have come off their sugar rush and go, gone to bed, uh, vibrating probably a little bit out there with all that extra sugar, if, that, if my childhood was any indication, uh, this again will be afterwards. And notice again where it says the T, RW minus slash T, the T indicates the possibility of thunderstorm. So we could see some thunder late on Halloween night, and that could add a little bit of extra air of mysteriousness uh, to the area, but hopefully the rain holds off for the time being and keeps things very much on the quiet side. So we'll be keeping our eyes on that over the next couple of days. So hopefully, again, everything holds off. But again, if it doesn't, we'll keep you updated on that uh, into the course of the next couple of days. So stay tuned 
uh, for more information about that coming up for right now. It is International Observe the Moon Night. If you haven't heard about this, it is, again, an opportunity for you to get uh, yourself and your kids and everybody else that you know outdoors and learn a little bit more about the science of astronomy and a good opportunity to do so by going out and looking at the night sky and doing what our ancestors did with no TV, no internet, no radio, no books, anything like that. They looked up at the sky and they told stories and they looked and they had the sky available to them almost every single night of the year and it was an opportunity to see all kind of neat things out that direction and international observe the moon night if you got pictures we would love to be able to see them tweet them along to social media according to accuweather astronomy it looks like again on the red area less of a chance of seeing everything totally clear until the clouds move out for tonight. We still have some clouds over the Mid-South for this evening, but most of those should be gone and drifting on through or at least breaking up. So you do have the opportunity to at least get out and see some of the moon for tonight. And again, it is beautiful out here uh, for this evening from the News Channel 3 backyard. Uh, if you haven't seen it just yet or you're just tuning in. Again, this is what it looks like from out here uh, in and around the backyard area for tonight. And this is, again, our great view uh, from the area for this evening. The News Channel 3 studios in downtown Memphis. The News Channel 3 weather set there. Wish we could use that again at some point in time. And, of course, the waxing uh, first quarter moon out that direction. Sorry about the glare from the uh, spotlights out there. There's a better view that you can see for right now for just at least. So again, a good opportunity to uh, see a little bit more out across uh, much of the area for right now. Gloria Davis, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Betty Smith from Halls, Tennessee. Mary Jewell, nice cool weather. Very cool from out here uh, for this evening from the backyard. Brenda Howell Harper as well, looking uh, pretty cool out there. Sissy Samuels, uh, congratulations to the uh, newly weds for this evening. Hope everything went well uh, yesterday. Sorry, my wedding gift didn't arrive on time, but you saw a copy of it on the internet, so I'll get that to you eventually. As of right now, again, pretty quiet conditions in the Mid-South from what it looks like, so please get out and at least take a second to, if you have kids, grandkids, get them outdoors for just a little bit and give them a chance to uh, see a little bit more about what it looks like out here for International Observe the Moon Night. It's beautiful. It should be staying that way into the course of the rest of the evening. Yes, it's going to be just a little bit on the chilly side, but that's okay because, again, that's part of what being an astronomer is all about, and we are all, as Carl Sagan said, descended from astronomers, so we get the chance to kind of relive that on a night like this and be able to see all kinds of neat stuff up in the skies for this evening. So again, taking an opportunity to see a little bit more about what it looks like from the backyard, a beautiful view from downtown Memphis, and hopefully just as good in your location again for uh, later on this evening. Rest of the evening tonight, again, if you'd like to find out more information about what's going on on my social media pages, all you have to do is drop by facebook.com slash austinonic W-R-E-G. Uh, Sissy Samuels, I was wondering where you went to, Hot Springs. Yeah, did a little bit on the chilly side over that direction, I'm sure. Also available on Twitter at twitter.com slash aonic underscore W-R-E-G-3. And if you have uh, pictures, we would love to be able to see them. Please tweet them to me or send them on Facebook or uh, if you can tag me on Instagram, that would be great. You can find me on Instagram at Aonic, no underscore necessary, W-R-E-G-3. And, of course, you can find out this page. We'll be posting weather overtime direct to this page at WREG.com. Just go to WREG.com and search weather overtime, and you can pick up that information there. And please, again, do your best to get out and at least try to get a little bit of moon observing in on a night like this. It's beautiful. It's a great evening to do something like that. So uh, please get an opportunity to try that for at least. I'm going to go ahead and go on in and pack things up for tonight because the temperature is obviously dropping here into the Mid-South. So we're going to go ahead and pack things up for tonight. I'll be on with uh, Kristen Harrelson and Mike Sadie with updates on news and sports tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. And I'll be on with Melissa Moon with the newscast tomorrow morning, bright and early, on News Channel 3 Daybreak. So stay tuned for more there. And if you have pictures of the moon, send them. Again, austin.onic at wreg.com, the email address up there in the blue bar. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 backyard with a nice view from my iPad here, sitting alongside me taking a picture. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's exclusive video weather blog live and direct from the News Channel 3 backyard. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend.